Welcome to this coverage of match day 22 of the Hero Indian Super League, which takes us to the JRD Tata Sports Complex in Jamshedpur, also popularly known as the Furnace. Cesar Ferrando's Jamshedpur FC are up against David James's Kerala Blasters FC, with both teams looking to pick up three points and enter the top four. Mathematics and analytics aside, both teams have played some good football and we're looking to continue the same tonight in the steel city of Jamshedpur. As Sia Shri Krishna blows the whistle and with it the game opened at the furnace. Jamshedpur in red against Kerala in yellow and trouble already for Kerala Blasters. Took a deflection, Sido shot there will probably bring the first corner. Already scored a couple, assisted one. Here's a corner from Sido and a header and a goal! What a start this is! And finally, the highest goal scorer in the history of Australian football brings that celebration out at the corner flag. The first goal for Tim Gale in the Hero Indian Super League. And what a start this is at the furnace for the home side. You can hear what it means to the fans. They're absolutely loving that. And so are we here. That is an absolute crack. Floats it out wide to the left towards Michael Susai Raj. Cuts it beautifully. Rackets in front. Susai Raj! Floats over. Good idea. Just the execution right at the end. Kale, when he started that move, just didn't have the legs to get into the box. But got him back there and picked out Susai Raj, who was just looking for that, wasn't he? To drop the shoulder, come back inside on his right foot. We saw FC Goa do that against Mumbai. Susai Raj, and that's a goal! He will remember this for a long, long time. The former Chennai City FC man signed by Jamshedpur to do exactly this, cut it from that wing and score curlers like that. 2-0 to Jamshedpur FC. And a goal to remember for Michael Susai Raj at the furnace. Well, you can see that Tim Cahill just passing on some words of advice and encouragement there. Defensively, this is terrible from Curlack. Just as they've got themselves back into the game, the last 10 minutes they've been passing it around, they've looked a lot better. It's a lapse of concentration, it's a silly, silly mistake, and it's going to cost them dear. Susai Raj did ever so well. Tim Cahill on the ball, and you see the crowd getting into it straight away. Susai Raj on the ball, and the roar only goes louder. Floats it in, header from Sino! Made great contact, just couldn't give it the direction he desired. That could have been 3-0 going into halftime. Because he was standing still. See that was standing still there. Good play from Susai again. I think Kale, let's see, would he have got it behind him? It looked as though Pesic will have to defend well here in the last couple of seconds of this half. Isido with a header. Kizito wins it away for Kerala Blasters. And the whistle goes from CR Sri Krishna. A fabulous, fabulous start for the home side, looking for their first home win of this campaign of the Hero Indian Super League. They count down to kick off again in the second half. CR Sri Krishna, the referee, 2-0 to Jamshedpur FC. Already in the top four if they manage to hold on to this lead. Jamshedpur in red, Kerala in yellow. But Kerala need a response after what happened in the first half. Good bit of skill this from Sahal Abdul Samad has that potential. Poplatnik oh, hits the crossbar and goes over. And that's the closest Kerala have come to scoring all evening today. It's the only time that they've come close to scoring. This their first shot on target or off target. Didn't catch it the way that they would have wanted. Poplatnik. Much better from Kerala. Sahal with a great ball towards Dejanovic. And is that a penalty? Certainly appealing for him, gets it as well. Got to be. Now long. Now long. There's contact there. Pretty sure about that. Sanjay just catching Stojanovic. It's a great run. It's a third man run as well. It's the little triangle watch. They're running from out to in. He's the man that popped it forwards initially. Stojanovic to take it. Has already scored one so far. And Subrit the ball saves it. And Jamshedpur clear the danger. He absolutely got it with that one, the penalty, but could convert it. Same side as last night as well. Another stunning, stunning save. 
goalkeepers to the fore, by the way. If anything, it's just a little bit inside. That's a good side, though. Good, strong wrists. No chance. Cedo to deliver this. Won't be surprised if we get a hat trick of assists. But went for goal himself, didn't he? I mean, Kumar in all sorts of trouble. Concedes a corner there. But lucky that didn't see the back of the net. He's lucky he nearly jumped in the back of his own net there. If that was just a little bit lower and had a little bit more fizz on it, that would really have caused them a problem. He's trying to hang it up for the big boys at the back post. But I'll tell you what, that's going in. Sido delivers it. Who's there to head it? Sanchez Malbucci looked like the man who made the contact. It's a goal kick. Needs to be a bit more positive going towards the ball there. That's a free header. Great two-footed player, isn't he? Sahal Abdul Samad. Good ball out wide towards Len Dungal, who's won the challenge here. Floats it in. So he had a win! And that is the first goal that's taken some time coming for Kerala Blasters. When he scored in the season opener against ATK to give a two-goal lead to Kerala Blasters. He's pulled one back here for the team in yellow. And boy, did they need it after that penalty miss from the very same man. And you have to say, an inspired substitution because it's Len Dungle, the man that's involved in this, wins that challenge, looks up, delivers. And it's the Yanovic that just peeled to the penalty spot. No one's gone with him. And bang! Another lung bursting run on the left hand side. Raju straight in front of him, takes him on, cuts it back. Finish! We said it, didn't we? For a man who's got 50% of his career goals up in the 75th minute. Scored the opener against Delhi. Finds the equaliser against Jamshedpur. He's a prized asset in Kerala. And there is a good reason for that. 2-2 at the furnace. CK Vineet with the goal. The shake of the head there from Thierry tells you all you need to know. Wow, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Again, it's Len Dungle that does the damage. Since coming on, he's been absolutely brilliant. He looks up and sees CK beneath in the right place at the right time. Dushins, Len Dungle, one of them, of course. Sahal Abdul Samad, the other one. Ball for Stoyanovic. Just for Kerala! Well, he does everything right, including putting it down, except hitting the target. And maybe that's an opportunity missed for Kerala, not just in terms of what Sejanovic has done there, but in terms of picking up three points on the road. Seconds left. And just as I said, the referee CR Sri Krishna blows the whistle and closes what has been an exhilarating second half 